can you do a retrospective for me? Take me through, you know, you, I mean, you, you bring an incredible amount of experience and institutional knowledge from the perspective of, of measurement in old versus nascent new, and then also in this idea of sort of what currency, currencies with which we transact. Take us, I mean, go back as far as you like, but give me a quick sort of summary of where we've been, where we've come, and where we are today. It's been, it has been a journey, so uh, it's great. So, um, 14 years at Comscore from the Rentrack side, so uh, really looking at set-top box data uh, as a starting place for the TV side of the business, and then on the digital side of the business, uh, bringing those two things together. But you, as you said, data is not sexy. It's really a tough business, and the more you have, the more that you know that, hey, there's, there's more work to be done to clean it up and to make it usable uh, and intelligible in order to make business decisions off of it. So at Comscore, we're really focused on trying to bring those data sets together and to serve all of our constituents, whether that be the MVPDs, the brands, uh, the agencies, uh, working with Jonathan, and then, you know, the uh, publishers and, and what they're trying to get out of the, the data. And everybody has, you know, different sets and talents that, and information that they put into that equation. So I talk a lot about the signal to noise ratio, and if I, um, it, and I, I, it's it's hard, right? So whether it's in it's in a data set and the data is really dirty, a yes. single data set, finding the signal in the noise and, cl and cleaning it. But what I'm hearing you saying is that actually, as uh, you know, there's sort of this inverse corollary or this misperception where we think because we're getting more granular, detailed level, sort of individual level data, that actually it's getting harder for us to find the signal and the noise because of the challenges. Well, I think it goes to what Jonathan's saying. So there's a lot of data sets out there, a lot of closed loops, a lot of, uh, you know, people coming out and saying, hey, we have measurement. But it's, it's really trying to figure out how do you decipher that and how do you, you know, aggregate it, bring it together so it can be actionable data at a large scale. It's one thing to do outcome-based um, measurement. It's another thing to say, okay, now I'm going to take that outcome and I'm going to plan and try to optimize off of that. When you, and when you say outcome-based, is that synonymous with a, a tr attribution? Are they one and the same to you? They can be. So I think that's one of the things. If you look at the 28 various uh, attribution companies, everybody's doing something slightly different. So in terms of the definitions, you know, I would say that you have to ask each one what they're going to do. Um, from so, so do you think that we can build an industry off something that is, I mean, it's like search, right? It's a dark art. I mean, can, can, can we, I just got this like amazing image of somebody dressing up as Merlin and coming up to the next beat retreat. Um, but I, I mean, you know, attribution modeling is a, is a dark art in some ways, right? So, um, and I'm not, and I, I just mean that in general, that like everybody has a secret sauce and that's part of their core value propositions, what makes them special, right? right. Take me through, ultimately, how a market and an industry evolves and matures and grows, most importantly, and is sustainable off of something that still has a bit of mysticism attached to it. Well, okay, that's a lot to put to put on my shoulders, but I'm going to try. So, no, it's okay. I really, I do think that um, having the granular data is is great when, when you have this massive amount of return path data coming in, whether it's from a device or a set-top box, and that you can pull that together and have the discipline to pull that together and form that measurement. That That is key to try to solve the problem. Um, and then I think when you have the addressable and you have the linear ad loads, you have a d digital addressable, you have to be able to look at that, and I think that that's what Jonathan wants to do, is to try to look at that all together. So that's what Comscore's mission is to try to do is to is to bring those data, data sets together, have the measurement where it could service every every um, function within the within the ecosystem. So it's really trying to bring the clarity yeah. to, to what's going. Through. Yeah, it's well, it's confidence, right? It's a sense of security that you can pick a horse and then just go and conduct your business, and everybody does what they do well, right? And I think that's how you enable an industry.